Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Homesteading Off the Grid. This morning, I'm gonna take you on a trail run with me. Uh, I've got some brand new Asics Gel Venture 5 trail shoes, trail running shoes, um, and I'm gonna try them out. This is gonna be the first time. They just came in the mail yesterday. Uh, I've used Asics shoes for probably 20, well, 30 years. I've been running for 30 years. Um, Asics has a, a gel insert in the heels of their shoes, which I guess is their uh, equivalency. Check out that deer. Show them that deer, honey. Zoom in on it if you can. See it? Yeah. There's a deer over there on the other side of the pond. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so anyway, gel. there's a gel insert in Asics gel shoes that is like their equivalency of Nike's Air. Um, I found it at a very young age. Price-wise, these are much more affordable than the Nikes. These are $69.95. That's what I paid for them on Amazon. So I just figured this morning while I'm testing these out for the first time and going for a run around the homestead and seeing the deer and who knows what else out there, I'd take you with me. So lace up your shoes as I lace up mine and let's go for a run. Alrighty guys, I'm laced up and ready to go. I've never done a product review and that's not necessarily, well, I guess that is kind of what this is. I'm not getting paid to promote these. Just throw that disclaimer out there. I just wanted to take you guys on a run with me. Like I did that walk there last week. Let's see if our deer's still over there. It's just so beautiful here in the mornings. I mean, I love, there he is, or she. See her up there underneath that mimosa tree. What's up, deer? I'm gonna go for a run. Don't let me disturb you. She's so used to seeing me, she's not going to let me disturb her. So she's going to go do her thing. No, she's not running, see? She's just moseying on up in there, sauntering up there a little bit. We're going to run up, we'll at least run up to the, uh, where we do the morning ramble. Maybe a little bit further. All right. Whoa, that sun is bright. But here we go. Let's get going. Oh, you're going to be bouncy, 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 huh? Now. How do I run and hold the phone at the same time? Very carefully. See these Leland Cypresses? We put these in here two years ago and they were only 18 inches tall. Got them on Walmart. We buy them in the off season, walmart.com in like December, January for like 14 bucks. Check this out. This one's almost six feet tall now. It started at 18 inches two years ago, so they're doing really well. Let's run up here, go through our man-made forest. These cedars are really, really, really growing. Check this one out. This thing was only chest high when we planted it here last summer. Now I've got to extend my arm up almost all the way to get to the top. Isn't that amazing? Oh, they're really growing, that one's bushing out. For those of you who might be interested in getting into jogging and running, you've never really done it, if you wonder about pace, it's recommended that you go at a pace comfortable enough to where you can actually have a conversation while you're doing it. So, oh, the Virginia burning bushes are turning red. Isn't that gorgeous? That's why we put these here. They've been here almost two years. This coming spring, we're gonna clip them back so they'll grow out, be more bushy. Give us that fuller, thick hedge that we want. That's what we're going for, but we wanted to make sure they took root really well. Well, as far as these shoes go, they feel great. They don't feel new, as in, you know, they're putting pressure in places I don't want pressure or maybe I'm not used to. <laughs> Whoop, there went a bird. I get up earlier than the birds. I just scared a bird out of its nest. Here, it's all the grass piles I raked up yesterday. I get those in the garden today. I got a little bit more here to do. Look at that sunrise. Oh, Virginia's gorgeous. I love it here. There's nowhere else in the world I'd rather live. Love to visit lots of other places, but this is where I wanna live. But yeah, these shoes, 
so far so good I can feel the support on the heels um, mentioned the other day in a video for those of you who follow um, having some plantar fasciitis issues I'm not feeling even a hint of that uncomfortableness here this morning these shoes are wonderful they're gonna do just fine on the road like I said I've used ASIC gel for almost 30 years look at that we just made it up the hill yay talking the whole time got to be careful going down the hill put a lot of pressure on your joints your knees I came through here yesterday mowing the trail so I could run on it there was a little baby fawn right here yesterday so small looked like it had just been born right there all right so here's the campground it's where we do the morning rambles freshly mowed I mowed it yesterday we're gonna keep on going there's a table and chairs isn't that gorgeous see because I'm gonna take you I'm taking you for a run it's no fun we've only run like well, we haven't really run a whole lap yet so let's keep going again oh there goes a the deer see that he's standing there little oh, down there's one too look see that deer right there in the center of your screen they used to seeing me but there she goes she won't go far you know you see me coming around here running as much as of late because you know I, I hadn't done this for like eight months oh look at this spider web isn't it beautiful can you see it look at that gorgeous Let's see if i can get the sun back there guys this is another problem i have with running around my homestead i see these little things it's so beautiful i'm gonna crawl underneath it i just stopped to look and it's still there i didn't tear it down see it I don't know if you can see it through the fire. Okay, let's keep going. I don't want to cool down. Gosh, haven't even warmed up yet. All right, we'll come around through here. There's the garden. Shoes are doing great. So far, so good. No problems with the heel and the plantar fasciitis. There's our canoe. I keep this here. The chickens love to come over here. As you know, we free range our chickens. This gives them an extra measure of security if the hoxes and the foxes come out there's the pond water glistening off the pond isn't it gorgeous oh, it's beautiful where's the fish see the water moving on top they see me and they're coming for their bread i don't have any bread on me right now i'll feed them later you can see some down in there so many fish in our pond all right let's go my goodness all right you guys having fun we've done one whole lap that's one third of a mile how are the shoes doing just put one foot in front of the other yeah and soon you'll be walking out the door yeah so far so good let's pick up the pace why because we're crazy let's do a little surge here just get the heart rate up yeah all right trying to make up for all that stopping and talking I've been doing got to get a workout out of this right take it down here look at that full moon Isn't that beautiful guys I often talk in these rambles about not taking things for granted seeing the moon in the sky at the same time I see the Sun in the sky is something I took for granted for 36 years seeing the moon and the Sun at the same time I'm gonna explain this I think I'm out to the middle of the field all right there it is there's the moon there's the moon over here's the Sun Wow, it's bright in the sky at the same time. For 36 years, I took that for granted. Then I moved to the Philippines and lived on the equator. What's your point, Crazy Lake? Well, on the equator, you do not see the moon and the sun in the sky at the same time because it doesn't happen. 
um, you see one or the other. We see them here in the U.S. and Virginia because we're in the northern hemisphere and the earth is tilted at such a degree toward the sun that we get a peak of get a peak at both at the same time. Can we make it up the hill without stopping? Let's see. Shoes are still going good. Well, it never really occurred to me that I was taking it for granted seeing the sun and the moon in the sky at the same time until dearly got super, super excited her first autumn here because she could see both. She, she had to explain to her what was going on. Yay, we made it. And uh, that's when it occurred to me I had gone for five or six years of not seeing the moon and the sun in the sky at the same time. All right, we did a lap and a half. So guys, we ran a mile and a half. Now, they feel great. No problems with the heels. And I'm gonna run more later. I'm just gonna walk around a bit, talk to you about, whoops. You heard a snot rocket, gross. Look at all these birds. This is where those little American golden finches roost. That's not them, that's something else. Looks like some kind of sparrow. But uh, oh, our mystery tree yesterday, the first red leaves of the year falls on the way. I pretty much deduce that that's a mature sourwood tree. Here's a bunch of sourwoods, younger ones, but that's a mature one. So anyway, these Asics Gel Venture 5 trail running shoes held up really, really well on their first run. And again, I'm not done. I'm gonna do at least another mile and a half after I wrap up this ramble because, you know, I gotta get a workout. But I'm gonna sit here for a couple of minutes and talk to you about finding inspiration wherever you can. Hopefully this run inspired you a little bit. But, all right. I catch my breath. Okay, guys. I um, hope you enjoyed that run. I took just a second to get a, a breather in so I'd catch my breath and talk to you a little bit more smoothly. Um, I, I'm going to finish my run after I record this segment of the video. I'm going to do another lap and a half, so that way I'll have three laps total, and that's a mile. Um, but I wanted to talk to you about finding or, or getting your inspiration wherever you can find it. Um, hopefully, you got inspired a little bit there by going on a mile, well, three quarters of a mile run with me. Um, a half a mile Whew. trying to make it sense like a fish story the, the the longer it goes the bigger it gets we just ran about a half a mile um i hope that inspired you a little bit uh as far as i'll wrap up the review on the shoes they're great the a6 gel venture 5 trail running shoes which are also excellent for the road um they're they're wonderful they're what i expected i've used this type of shoe for the last 30 years a6 this is a nice model so they're going to do just fine i'll get a couple hundred miles out of them replace them more than likely with more a6 so and again just, uh, you know, I used to run 70 miles a week. I've been a runner for 30 years. So I've got a lot of miles on my body, a lot of wear and tear. Um, I'm 44 years old, but I can still run comfortably in these shoes safely and not worry about injury as long as I replace them when they need to be replaced, as long as I stretch, as long as I cool down. So good shoes, I give them two thumbs up. But I want to talk to you for just a minute about uh, getting your inspiration from wherever you can find it. And I, I thought of this this morning because I was up in my office, I was on YouTube, and there was a song on my recommended playlist, and it was by a band that I saw almost 20 years ago when I first moved to Charlottesville. And so when I saw this recommended song pop up, I listened to it, and it took me back 20 years, and I found myself being inspired today, but back then, 20 years ago, when nobody knew who this band was, I, I found myself being equally inspired. And here's a story. There used to be this club, like a, like a bar, called tracks down on the corner of the university in charlottesville by the corner of the university of virginia or as they'd say locally the university so this band was playing i I'd, I'd heard of them at the time because they had like one song on the radio um that that they played a few times i was like well i'm gonna go watch this so i went there i went with somebody got in there there's only like 30 people in the club and here's this band on stage singing their heart out 
Nobody was paying attention. The person I went with kept saying, come on, they suck. Let's get out of here. Let's go home. This isn't any good. We're wasting our time. We've already wasted our money to get in. Let's not waste our time by staying. I told this person, no, I'm staying till the last note of the last song. And I was sitting right at the front of the stage within arm's length of the stage and probably eight feet away from the lead singer. And during this whole concert, it felt like this singer was singing directly to me and at me, making eye contact the whole time. Because, um, I mean, I was like the most engaged person out of the 30 in the club listening. So I thought they did great. And I told the person I went with and whoever would listen to me, I said, this band is going to be huge someday. They're going to be great. I mean, as the music entered my ears, it went into my soul. That's how good these people were. So I saw that video this morning. I clicked play. I listened to it. And I, I went back remembering this time from almost 20 years ago. It was about 18 or 20 years ago. Um, the, the, the song that came up this morning on the recommended list was a song called Play That Song. Mr. DJ, Play That Song. The band's name is Train. Um, at the time I saw them, they had one song out that people had heard. It's called Meet Virginia. Uh, just a few years after that, they would go on to win a Grammy for a song called Drops of Jupiter. Um, and there's an amazing story behind that. I, I saw a video on YouTube about that. Um, when I saw this band in Charlottesville almost 20 years ago, they had no money, uh, no status to speak of. They were traveling around in broken old beat up vans or buses or whatever. And Pat Monahan, the lead singer, his mother at the time was struggling, fighting lung cancer, and the band couldn't even afford cell phones. Um, they would stop in between shows or while they were driving around, and Pat would call his mother on a payphone. That's how broke they were, but they kept going, they kept pursuing their passion, they kept chasing their dreams. Uh, Pat's mother lost her battle with cancer. Um, he actually ended up writing Drops of Jupiter as a result of having had a dream after his mother's passing where he was kind of like visiting his mother's spirit or seeing her again uh, in death, wrote that song and um, it went on to win a Grammy. It's a very amazing, very inspiring song. I find inspiration from uh, stories like that. And, and I find it in simple places too. And I take it wherever I can get it. Um, there's a guy I used to work with at the post office named Nate. He's a mail carrier here in Charlottesville named Nate, and I'm going to give Nate a shout out. What's up, Nate? Um, Dearly and I went into town the other day. We had our oil changed at a Jiffy Lube station beside a Chinese buffet that's right beside the post office where I used to work. So Dearly and I went in to have lunch um, while the oil was being changed. And I looked through the window, and I saw Nate loading his truck, and I, I just wished I could have gone through the window, gone over, shook Nate's hand, given him a hug, and said, hey, Nate. And here's why. You know, the whole time I worked there, once Nate found out what my name was, um, every morning as I rounded the building to go in the back door, I would see Nate first because that's where his truck was right there at the corner. And every morning, Nate said, hey, Kevin. And he smiled. He said, good morning. How you doing, buddy? Always pleasant, always positive, always had a pleasant greeting, always had a, had a, had a good word to say. And I didn't realize how important that was for me during that time and how much that actually did inspire me until I left from there and I was gone for a month. And then I saw Nate a month later while I was sitting there with my wife having Chinese food, looking at Nate through the window. So Nate, I want to let you know that you reached out and touched me uh, without even knowing it. Just because of that positive memory I had of seeing you every day, being positive, giving me a warm, friendly greeting. Just like, you know, the memory of Pat Monahan and the band Train 20 years ago on that stage in Charlottesville singing right at me from 10 feet away and then, you know, going on to do great things. And Nate's doing great things with the post office. Nate shows up every day. He does his job. He's not calling out sick all the time like some folks. Uh, he, he's just a wonderful person. And so, guys, I hope you got something out of this today other than the fact that the A6 Gel Venture 5 are, are some good shoes. And, again, I'm not being paid to promote this product. Uh, I just wanted to share this part of my life with you because we share a lot of what we've got going on here around the homestead. But I'm actually going to finish my run, going to do another lap and a half to get in my mile, and that's inspiring. I'm inspired to run even just one mile. It's my hopes to build up to five and six and eight or ten, you know. But for now, hey, if I can get one in, that's where you start, right? Journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step. And before you can run ten miles, you got to run one. So I'm going to give you another beautiful parting shot of the homestead, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next time for more.